What's up? I'm gonna be answering a bunch of questions on my phone in the most, I guess, stupid way possible. All right, let's get started. <clears throat> Who are you? Okay, let's do a little introduction here. My name is Ben. If you don't know, the um, channel is like, I don't know, somewhere around here and such. Just, if you just look at there, that's, that's my name. I am actually uh, 19 years old. I go to college in um, Charlotte of North Carolina with a uh, math major with an undeclare minor because I was in computer science previously and that shit sucked ass. And I, and I originally declared a math minor, but now everything just kind of switched from there. So that's where I'm at at this point. I have a I have a channel, and that's it. <clears throat> Where does the Kung family name originate from? Well, to be honest, if you don't know, I'm actually Chinese, but I'll, I can't say how my last name originated because I will tell you this: my parents were originally from Vietnam. Of course, you know you're led to assume that oh I'm actually Vietnamese, but no, I'm actually full blood Chinese. But but the thing was that my grandparents on my dad's side they were from China. But however, on my mom's side, my grandpa is from um, China, but my grandmother was from Vietnam. So. This kind of led to some confusion there. I'm not sure why, but that's all I can. <laughs> that's all I can explain. I sorry if I didn't really answer that question interpretedly, but that is the best I could do. So I'm Chinese. I'm not Vietnamese. Although Vietnamese food is bomb, though for real. Oh, I do love Chinese food as well. All right. Next question. What is your biggest fear? Um, biggest fear would have to be, and this is gonna be sound strange, but playing horror games and. I, I'll, exp I'll explain in a bit, but if you think of it this way, uh, well, let me let me start off first by saying um, I'm actually not afraid of watching scary movies, but horror, playing horror games in general, you know, like Five Nights at Freddy's, Slender Man, um, all that all that popular indie co indie games, yeah, those things scare the sh out of me. Because <laughs> let's let's take it in this perspective, for example. When you're watching scary movies, it's like most of the scenes you'll you watch is more of a uh, third person perspective, and it's not so much you don't see the first person. Now, however, now this is where it gets now this is where it changes it. Horror games, most of them that I've been playing in the past, they were all like first person perspective, so it just gets that feel, you know, like something's just every jump scare just comes right at you like at any time, which I can't stand. I still cannot get over my fear, even though I still play it from like time to time, but <laughs> what can I what can I do? How much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? Alright, we're gonna look this up. According to Siri, they say well she says a woodchuck would chuck as much as a woodchuck could chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood. Next question. What's the first thing you would do during a zombie apocalypse? Oh, easy. Watch The Walking Dead. That way I get an idea of how it would really feel like to be in a zombie apocalypse I could just learn from Rick Grimes or anybody. Daryl. Ooh, I would love that crossbow though, my god. Can't tell me how kick-ass that shit is. Coke or Pepsi? Coke. Favorite TV sh My favorite TV show. Well, I don't necessarily have a favorite TV show, but the thing is, I do watch a lot of anime, which I can I could say I can tell you not necessarily what my favorite anime is of all time, but uh, genre-wise, I could I could say that. So if you're looking into something more like romantic comedy or anything romantic in general, look up Toradora or Clanad and Clanad After Story. Clanad and Clanad After Story itself, you will not stop crying on them. That's all I'm gonna say. It's sad. Now, if it was a, um, if it will, if you're looking into more of something like maybe funny, like comedic anime series, Gintama, watch it. Just Gintama, you will definitely laugh your ass off, no doubt. I, I, I should do not. It's legitimately funny. I'm surprised that they didn't air in the U.S. But what can you do? It's actually considered popular in Japan, but whatever. Favorite video game genre? Um, 
obviously I kind of like platforming games as well, but I'm also into RPGs in a way. It's if you don't know, it's also it stands for role playing games. Like it's not the same as World of Warcraft since that's considered MMO since it's online multiplayer. RPGs in general is more for like single single player content. But my favorite video game game um, genre in general would have to probably say RPG. By the way, my phone case right here. If you don't know, that's actually from the game um, Xenoblade Chronicles. Probably the best RPG game I've ever played. It's not the best game I've ever played, but it's probably one of the best RPGs I've ever played personally. Get yourself that game for real. It's lit. Even though that game is long, but it's lit. Yes. 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 Here, I'm gonna put a video that says yes. No. What's your favorite restaurant? I mean, I don't really have a favorite restaurant, but I do eat a lot. I do eat out a lot. And I mean a lot. A college student like me just eats out a lot. Um, sometimes I'll just eat or eat maybe Chipotle. I'm sure you guys have heard of that stuff. I'm sure most of you guys know that stuff anyway by heart. Um, I am into... Lately, I've been kind of getting into noodles and company. If you don't know what that is, it's actually the restaurant itself. It's a chain, it's considered a chain restaurant, but itself, it's just straight up noodles. And then they give you some kind of protein and some stuff, but it's still good. But I just don't like its prices, to be honest. It's pretty crazy. But time to time, I will get it. If you could be someone else for a day, living or dead, who would it be? That is actually a good question, though. I might need some time to think about this. Uh, cut to commercial break. All right, now we're back. Um, maybe I could go with some kung fu. Maybe some kung fu master. Maybe karate or I don't know. Oh, I'm just gonna say Jackie Chan, just so I don't want I want everyone to at least believe like I know how to do kung fu and shit because you know Asian stereotypes. You know they just kept telling you, it's like, oh, you know how to do kung fu's? Like, you know how to fight some people? I'm like, no, I'm not like that. But if I was that person, I'll cha that, that'll change their minds a bit. White rice or fried rice? Coke. Honestly, I could go with either one, because I grew up with eating both of them. But if I had to pick, I feel like a white rice would be the winner. Why? Well, I mean, every day, every day for dinner, or I would say most of the days, I would usually eat white rice with something. Fun fact, white rice is, you know, actually considered to be unhealthy just because it contains so much sugar in there. But, you know, I just grew up eating that stuff and just something I just got used to it as like, for part of my life. Fried rice, time to time, those are still good. I'll eat it, but if I really had to pick, I think white rice would be the winner in this case. How did you get started on these vlogs? <laughs> this one's gonna be interesting. I had a few friends from school trying to convince me to um, make make a vlog channel. Reason being why, if maybe if um, here I'll put a video right here, right right here. Yeah. If you don't know, I actually did a spicy ramen challenge on my other channel, and <clears throat> they were so impressed with, like how the video editing editing skills and all that stuff, photography and. Well, not so much photography, it's more of the video video editing stuff. And they were so impressed with it, like, they wanted to see more content. And, you know, I, like, say that it's kind of hard to, like, bring up that type of creativity. But definitely, I told them, like, I will make videos from, like, time to time. But it wouldn't be so much, like, on a daily basis. Like, like when you're seeing these vlogs now, you don't see me do it on a daily basis. It's more of, um, whenever I feel like it's a good time for me to upload them. Plus, not so much as, um, there are times during my days where it's like, there's not much really going on, so I was thinking to myself, that's not really anything I should vlog. I usually vlog whenever, um, anything interesting happens, so that's why you'll see, like, those huge gaps in each of the days, but they understand that they know, like, I can't do, um, daily vlogs because that would be considered stressful, but I, like, just do them for fun. Know, just you know, get to know me a bit well, and this is pretty much all I'm gonna say. And plus, 
not only not only vlog channel, not only this is not meant for only just a vlog channel. I'll upload something like this Q and A video, or maybe skits or something like that, challenge videos, anything, anything that I just want to pull my heart out into making these videos and just have fun with it in a way. Hope that answers your question. Okay, well that wraps up the uh, Q and A. Sorry, I couldn't answer like every one of your questions. I was hoping I could in some way possible, but. Hopefully, maybe the next one you'll see is um, should be up there. Anyway, thanks for watching. My social medias are right here. You got um, you got your Insta my Instagram here and my Twitter. I don't really use Twitter, but why not? And um, leave a like, comment, subscribe. I hope you enjoy, and I will see you in the next video. Peace. Let's wrap. Coke, Coke. <laughs>